It's like I've always said, if the game has the scorpions on the soundtrack and the penguins kicking ass, it can't be bad. to the point. Opportunity to score. That's denied. Good blocker save. The St. Louis Blues. Coaches are going to keep looking at this because... And he scores! I let the computer have a goal just to feel good. I don't like crushing the Xbox to the point where it breaks on me. That's the secret to preventing the Red Ring of Death. You've got to give it a little bit. Just to let it think it's got a chance and then destroy it. going to deny on a breakaway. No, and listen, this team expects him to provide exactly what he just did. That is goals. Lost. Hit the iron. And what did he beat the goal to? <laughs> Quick opportunity. Big opportunity, but that one wide of the net. No, nope, no credit for a shot on goal on that rip. Tough to score. Yeah. Scores! I'm just sitting here watching the footage with the rest of you. It's hard to talk when it looks this good. I've made no secret about the fact that I've enjoyed the EA hockey games all the way back to the first one that I played on the Sega Genesis, my all-time favorite sports game. Back when I played as the Penguins with Mario Lemieux, now I can play with Sidney Crosby and the rest of the team. Back in the day, my excuse for losing used to be my Mario is broken. Well, now it's my Sydney is broken. Or my Malkin. This is NHL 10. We're watching the Xbox 360 version. You can also get this on PlayStation 3, of course. And this is simply a breathtaking game. The best part of it is that you can play with the NHL 94 controls. If you're not going to let me hook up a Sega Genesis controller to the 360, that's the best way to do it because frankly the new control scheme where you can do just about everything is way too complicated. I like to just shoot, pass, and hit people. Turn off the penalties and have fun with the game. And damn, this game is fun. You don't always have to play as the Pittsburgh Penguins. In fact, you can play as a number of other teams in this game, like these guys, the Crefield Pinguini. They just happen to have a penguin on their jersey. To bring you this hockey match between HPK Havanlita and Crefield Pinguini. I don't know who these HPK guys are, but their hockey jerseys are awesome. They look like they belong in rollerball. That's a compliment, by the way. Why limit it to just the NHL? There's so many teams to choose from in this game. If you're a hockey fan, you get a game that delivers. What I think is really cool about this game, in addition to the amazing visuals, excellent gameplay, and enormous team selection, not to mention the multiplayer aspects, is the amount of customization that you can do to the gameplay. You can make it as old-school EA hockey as you want, back when it was just about shooting and hitting, or you can turn it up to the hardcore mode and live every subtle nuance of hockey using just about every button and button combination on the controller. Which frankly, I find too much. I like the older style, and I like the fact they let me play that way. Most games wouldn't do that. They would just give you the finger and force you to use the new control scheme. Really usually makes his living with his body, not his hands. Hey now, that's some commentating. Overall, for a game, I gotta give him credit on this one. The commentating and crowd noise and just overall feeling that you're in an arena, the Civic Arena, is amazingly well done. I refuse to call it the other name. It's like I can almost taste the Iron City beer while watching hockey. And by almost, I mean actually. And by watching, I mean playing this game. I love the wild matchups that you can create. Back in the early days, it was just the NHL teams. Now it's like everyone, all the way down to the high school level. Well, maybe not that far, but you, you can play this game like any which way that you want against friends on Xbox Live Arcade or the PlayStation Network. They got multiplayer on this one covered. The computer AI is quite impressive, and this has the very popular EA Sports Hockey League and the multiplayer season mode. 
You can learn about all that online. What I'd rather do is show you the character and team creation tools. Once you've created your own player, you can then draft them onto your own hockey team that you make up all by yourself using your imagination. The creation tools in NHL 10 are awesome. They're very intuitive and they allow you to do a whole lot. Everything from the colors to the city, the numbers, make a whole new team of players or draft an existing team. I named my team the Moose Jaw Sorcerers. And there's a story behind this. Moose Jaw just happens to be in an alternate reality, sitting on top of the largest oil reserves in the world. And ironically, right next to that is the largest diamond mine in existence. So it's like the new Dubai. They want their own hockey team. They create the Moose Jaw Sorcerers and draft the entire Pittsburgh Penguins by tripling their salary and buying them immortality. Now you think this would hurt the Pittsburgh Penguins, but in, in a separate story what they did is they actually offered all the hockey equipment to the Pittsburgh Pirates, and as it turned out, they're better at hockey than they are at baseball. So Pittsburgh had a pretty good year after that anyway. But anyway, these are the Moose Jaw Sorcerers versus the Lake Erie Monsters, because only sorcerers could take on monsters. This game is so rich with details and has so many layers that it's playable and enjoyable for those of you who just want to live and breathe hockey, and for those of us that grew up playing Blades of Steel on the Nintendo and the earlier NHL games on the Sega Genesis. My only criticism is that it's nearly impossible to win face-offs against the computer, and although the new fighting system, which you'll see at the end of the review, is very good, I would have preferred it had the camera pulled back into a side view licensing the Street Fighter 2 engine so that you could throw fireballs and uppercuts. This is NHL 10, a video game worthy to feature the mighty Moose Jaw Sorcerers. 